bring us to the beginning of Airbyte. What were you doing? And then what inspired the idea behind the company? What's the origin story? Yeah. So I would say it started a little bit before we officially started Airbyte. It started maybe September 2019. Uh, I left my previous job in July, uh, took a, a month off. And then it, it was really, I had decided I am going to start a company now. So I put... I took the time to really brainstorm about ideas. And I actually, at that point, I was talking a lot with John and I asked him like, hey, let's brainstorm together. I'm sure we together will have a lot of great ideas. And we had a few in September. We actually applied to YC with a completely different ideas. And three days after we applied, we actually told YC, actually, we're not going to do it because Uber and Lyft announced exactly the product that we wanted to do. So we said, that doesn't, we're not going to do it. And what happened is we also, this, at the same time, we're like, okay, let's figure out a better problem space where we have more um, like expertise in. And we continue to brainstorm. Every time you have ideas, they look good for two days. And then you realize after two days that that was a terrible idea. You're ashamed to have had this idea. So it's <laughs> always the same, always the same process. It's just every idea looks good. It's just when you start digging, when you start talking, when you start exposing it to other people, you realize, hmm. There is something that doesn't work there. But it's really end of um, November that we decided on the problem space. We did not really have an exact uh, solution to it. And that's when we like re-engaged with YC and we started to uh, say, okay, you know what, let's actually move forward. And uh, at that point, we did through the, we went through the interviews and uh, we started in the batch in uh, January. And so that was really the, the start, like January 2020, the 1st of January, that's when we started the company. Um, and yeah, we did not have a product at the time, just an idea, just some expertise in the, in the industry and on the on problem space. And we started to talk to people. We started to interview people in marketing, people in data, and trying to figure out, okay, what exactly are the problems that they are having and what kind of solution are they using? What kind of solution are they building internally? to actually solve this problem. And we started with an initial product. Uh, and this one was very geared toward marketing. And I think that's important that it was marketing because there is a lot to say about uh, like um, founder fit in the product that you build. And marketing, so we started to get good traction with the product. And suddenly, March 15, 2020, the whole world uh, like basically stopped because of COVID. And especially on the marketing side, everybody that we were talking to, every POC, every pilot that we had, that was that was over. And that's when we realized that the product that we were building was not going to uh, to be something that people actually need and rely on for their day to day job. And we, that's not what John and I wanted to do. We wanted to build a company where what we're building is something that people need. And they, if they don't have it, they cannot do their job. And at, at that point, it was really, okay, let's push it a little bit more, see if really there is no like ceiling that we can break. And we realized that it was not. And we completely pivoted at that time. And we refocused our effort for like the data integration space. Basically, the, the, the problem space was data integration. And that's when we really focused on like the dev tool, like data centric very technical uh, product that we have right now with, uh, with Airbyte. Uh, and it was in Ju like mid-July or end of July that we really went heads down into the project. So it took like a year since, uh, it feels like it took a year uh, that you um, left a previous job in uh, May 2019 and took a year to bring some ideas and, and, and validate and pivot. And uh, so the, the time and patience it took I guess paid off. Yeah, yeah, and and we went through this really hard time because we also we started to work with uh, like three people that I worked with in the past, and basically that was the founding team. And the problem is, if it's just me and John, that's fine. We that's our life choice. We decided we're going to start uh, the company, and we are ready to to bite the to bite all the problem. But when you start having people also working with you that makes it a little bit more complex. And suddenly you have a responsibility toward their success as well. And, but they knew also where they were going. So 
So they were just part of the adventure, but you, you have to be careful to make sure that people are going to be okay with this new version of the pivot are going to completely buy in into the new vision. Um, and it got, got some gray hair when we realized that the initial product we were building was not working. That was uh, an interesting period. 